A surprising hydrothermal eruption occurred today in the Biscuit Basin, one of Yellowstone's most scenic and active geyser areas. A geyser believed to be Jewel Geyser erupted forcefully, sending jets of steaming water nearly 30 feet 9 meters into the air in a dramatic display of geothermal power. According to the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory YVO, the eruption was part of a natural hydrothermal cycle that has recently intensified in the area. Jewel Geyser is known for regular eruptions every 5 to 10 minutes, but today's event was longer, more powerful, and marked by increased ground tremors and steam output. What made the moment even more remarkable was the timing. Just hours earlier, Yellowstone's mighty steamboat geyser, the tallest active geyser in the world, had erupted in the Norris Geyser Basin. Some visitors, lucky enough to witness both events in one day, called it a once-in-a-lifetime double feature. Visitors described the scene as spectacular but intense as hot mist blanketed parts of the boardwalk. Park rangers quickly secured the area and reported no injuries. It was like the ground was breathing, said Ava Ramirez, a visitor. From Texas, one minute it was calm, the next minute the water just exploded. This isn't something we see every day, said Dr. Emily Rivera of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. It's a vivid reminder that Yellowstone's hydrothermal systems are alive, interconnected, and constantly shifting. Klauja has been in a restless state for years. Its most destructive eruption in recent memory occurred in 2018, when lava flows destroyed over 700 homes and reshaped parts of the island. Since then, the volcano has alternated between dormancy and short bursts of activity. This eruption was preceded by weeks of shallow earthquakes and ground swelling, said Dr. Nahia Kalani, a volcanologist at HVO. We've been watching magma accumulate beneath the surface, and it finally broke through. Unlike the explosive, eruptions of stratovolcanoes like Mount St. Helens, Claudia S eruptions are typically effusive, meaning lava flows rather than blasts, but they can be just as dangerous especially to nearby communities, roadways, and air quality. Scientists rushed to monitor the lava fountains, some reaching heights of 50 meters, while measuring sulfur dioxide emissions and thermal activity. Drones buzzed over the crater, capturing dramatic footage of glowing lava rivers carving paths through the hardened black rock. This is an extraordinary opportunity to study the volcano's internal system. Dr. Kalani added, every eruption teaches us more about how Claudia breathes. <laughs> 